Hello everyone, this is Hero Linear. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. Previously, Link cleared the Temple of Time and got his third mirror shard. Only one remains. We're back in the Sacred Grove of the Past. There's one more mirror shard to find. Somehow, we have to get to the sky. Ah, oh, but how to get there? We previously came back out here, and got a pose soul, and a piece of heart. Not to mention the final bug. So we're good to return to our own time. Probably ages in the future. Well, hello, Uku. Well done, adventurer. Uku sees what she was looking for. Goodness, yes. It's the Dominion Rod you found in the temple. But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. Ooh, what am I to... I thought at last I could return to the sky. And I have completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow it with magic. It can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do indeed. Well, Uku is on her way. See you again. See you later, Uku. Hey, wait. What did you do to the Dominion Rod? I don't think it was her fault. She's gone. I suppose a useless rod is really just more baggage, but... What are you going to do? Hmm. Did she just say something about returning to the sky? Yes, she did. The last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If we can restore magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it'll come in handy. So the Dominion Rod is now useless. Its power has waned since being removed from the Temple of Time. It cannot be used in this state. Well, poopy. There's one more mirror shard to find. Somehow, we have to get to the sky. Doesn't someone know the spell that will restore power to the Dominion Rod? Hey, wasn't there a guy who knew a lot about the people of the sky in the Barn Castle town? Yes, Shad. You could always ask again, you know. So, that's what we'll do. Over to Castle Town, so we can visit the bar. And away we go. Hello again, Royal Capital Area. Mr. Link, wait! Uh-oh. Pesky postman draws near. Command. <sighs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Renato. Renato, eh? Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. See you later, postman. So, something from Renato about Ilya's memory. Link, there is something about Ilya's memory that I wish to tell you. I know you're busy, but please come visit me in my sanctuary in Kakariko Village. Another lead. So we'll go there after visiting Telma. Hello again, Castletown. Pardon me, NPCs. Mm -hmm. 
So, once again, into the bar. Hello again, Telma. How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Ronado is a talented man, for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? You unsure about what you ought to be doing, honey? Well, why don't you go show your face in Kakariko Village? Our friend Shad happens to be there right now, looking into this and that. If you need detailed directions, just take a peek at that map on the table. So, Shad is also there, eh? Interesting. Shad is in Kakriko Village now. Would you check on the children if you head that way, Link? Alright. Looks like Renato's Sanctuary. Hello again. So, did you find the power of the ancient civilization? Kind of. If you discover anything, could you be sure to also tell Shad? He has been researching the Uka, who are said to be the ancestors of the Hylians. As we speak, he is in Kakariko Village, investigating these sky beings. Perhaps you should go see him? He is an avid scholar, so I am sure his knowledge could be helpful. Uka? Uku? Hmm... Hello, Ashe. Link, you truly are a mysterious guy. No matter where some kind of incident occurs, your name always seems to come up. Hey, don't misunderstand me. I meant that as a compliment, yeah? As a fellow worker in the fight to restore peace to Hyrule, you have my thanks, and may we both keep up the good work. Thank you, Ashe. So... Two clues point to Kakariko Village now. So that's where we need to go. Over to Kakariko Village. Hello again, Kakariko Village. Let's check around first. Hello there. Link, did you know? That Zora boy is actually the prince of the Zora tribe. Yeah! Aw, if I had gotten to know him better, maybe I could have gone and met the royal family and been a princess or something. Aw, oh, rats! I let a really big fish get away! Sorry about that. Now, how about Balomart? Well, well, a party! Well, come to the Malomart flagship store, Bretta! We are currently holding a grand opening sale at our brand new store in Hyrule Castle Town. Come one, come all! You will buy it now, if you are smart, at Mallow Mart. Hello, sir. Together, we can do anything. You will buy it now, if you are smart, at Mallow Mart. Hello. Some more arrows, please. No thanks, eh? See if I help you with any further corporate ventures. Ungrateful little brat. Ah, Renato's daughter, and Colin. Link. The Zoro boy said that you gave him courage. I guess that boy is his name Rallus? Yes, well, I guess Rallus is the son of the Zoro royal family. 
He said that he was the successor to the Zora throne, so he had to go back to his home. I am just glad that thanks to you, he has healed Link. Oh, Link! That Zora boy, Rallus, went back to his village the other day. Did you say something to Rallus, Link? That was really nice. So it seems Rallus has gone back home. Now for some more bombs. Hello again, Barnes. I guess ten should cover it. Ten, please. Thank you, sir. Don't blow up the shop. Now let's go check Renato's Sanctuary. Renato has called us here. And Shad should also be here. Oh, quite a gathering. Elder Darbus, who are you, little human, the young lady's acquaintance? Hello, sir. Darbus happened to hear that an acquaintance of one of our brothers had lost her memory and was in some trouble. Me? I came down here because I have a little something to discuss with the shaman. Very well. Hello, Ilya. Um, Link? Did you hear what the shaman said? What's up, shaman? Ooh. Ah, I have been waiting for you, Link. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend, Shad? Well, it seems he is researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I have learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens, or something like that. The Goron Elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please take this to Telma. You got Renato's letter. It carefully details how to treat Ilya to get her memory back. Set it to Y or X to show it. It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. <laughs> We have a fighting chance, Link. So we now have Renato's letter. Renato's letter to Telma. Shad is still down there in the basement, investigating that statue. Now get going. You must deliver my letter to Telma immediately. I just cannot do it myself. The race to recover Ilya's memory is on, Link. Link, I remember being saved from a dangerous situation by someone, someone who told me all about the Rod of the Heavens. But now I can't remember the who, why, where, or what it all means. Do you really think I'll recover my memory? I regret that a complete stranger like yourself got caught up in all of this because of me. I'm so sorry. Turning the screws here, story. Whether we get that girl's memory back, young warrior, 
will be up to you. Even our chief Jarvis has lost the memory of his dark time. We have not told him that you are the one who saved him. He is a proud Goron, and he can be touchy if he knew he had been saved by a human. On the other hand, he does have a strong sense of moral duty, so if anything happens, you can count on him to help. Hello, Darbus. Little human, it is time for you to show your manliness, for the girl's sake. If there is anything I can do to help, just say so. It is in times like these that we must come to one another's aid. <laughs> Not that you could ever do much to help me, my tiny friend. Gahaha! <laughs> if only you knew... Hello there, Shad. Oh my, color me surprised, if it isn't Link. What a coincidence, meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? Yes, well, there's something about it that's been bothering me, so I came here to snoop about. To think that you would appear here with such perfect timing. You really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I've found it at long last. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Here, look at the belly. There's something written there, you see. This, too, was in my father's notes. It is called Skywriting, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that is what it says. Wait a moment. Isn't that Ilya a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. And that rod of the heavens she mentioned. I'm sure it has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm. Isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. So, first we have to restore her memory. And that's an intriguing statue. Looks familiar. Statues, the word that breaks the seal, and the rod of the heavens. It just gets odder and odder. Now Ilya's memory is the last clue we have to solving this strange puzzle about the heavens. Link, what shall we do? So... It seems we first have to help Ilya. And for that, we have to go see Telma. So, back to Castle Town again. Hopefully, not to be waylaid by mailmen this time. And what ho? We've recovered all 24 golden bugs. So let's take a break and deliver them to Agatha. Hello, Agatha. 
Have you wrought a bug for Princess Agatha's ball? Yes, indeed. How about a golden-bodied male dayfly from the Gerudo Desert? Oh, oh, oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little male dayfly, aren't you, you little cutie? Little dayfly, little dayfly, I want to take your colorful tail and make the loveliest braid ever. Oh boy, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Allow me to share this happiness with you. You got a purple rupee, worth fifty. Nine bugs left until I have them all. If you don't mind my asking, could you find a partner for any single bug at the ball? Absolutely. Another bug. A golden-bodied female dayfly from the Gerudo Desert. Oh, oh, oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little female dayfly, aren't you, you little cutie? <laughs> Talking about mutilating the poor thing. Oh yes, we have a pair. Don't those little bugs look happy? Some more happiness, an orange rupee, worth 100. Eight bugs left until I have them all. Oh, I hope that you'll keep bringing them here. You will, right? So I shall. Now, how about... A male butterfly from the field west of Castle Town. You're a little male butterfly. Little butterfly, little butterfly, I want to be wrapped up in that powder, too. Fifty more rupees. Seven bugs left until I have them all. And the female butterfly from the field west of Castle Town. Your little female butterfly. Another pair. So we get a C note. Thank you. Six bugs left until I have them all. Another bug. How about the male snail from the sacred grove? You're a little male snail. Little snail, little snail, just once I'd like to take a bath in that slime. Ew. Fifty rupees more. Five bugs left until I have them all. The female snail from the sacred grove. Your little female snail. Very gross. Another pair. A hundred rupees. Four bugs left until I have them all. This time... A male grasshopper from the field north of Kakariko Village. You're a little male grasshopper. Little grasshopper, little grasshopper, I'd love to tickle your belly all day long. Run, grasshopper. The scroll's insane. Fifty more rupees. Three bugs left until I have them all. Now the female grasshopper from the field north of Kakariko Village. 
your little female grasshopper. Some more happiness. Another orange rupee. Two bugs left until I have them all. Down to our last pair. The male dragonfly from the waterfall basin of Zora's River. You're a little male dragonfly. Little dragonfly, little dragonfly, when you look at me with those great big eyes, I... <laughs> Fifty rupees more. One bug left until I have them all. And here's your last one. A female dragonfly from the upper part of Zora's River. Oh, oh, oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little female dragonfly, aren't you, you little cutie? Little dragonfly, little dragonfly, when you look at me with those great big eyes, I... Oh boy, thank you so much, I'm so happy. Oh, this means all the bugs have made it to the ball safely. Hehe, <laughs> and everyone has a partner, they all look so happy. You worked very hard. Your efforts will forever be passed down in the Insect Kingdom, brave knight. Please accept this declaration of honorable citizenship and the memento that goes along with it. You got the giant wallet. It's a symbol of a distinguished citizen in the Insect Kingdom. It can hold up to 1,000 rupees. Fantastic! If you ever feel like talking to the bugs again, you know where to go. So we now have the Giant Wallet, the wallet given by Agatha to benefactors of the Insect Kingdom. It can hold up to 1,000 rupees. Thank you, Agatha. Oh boy, am I happy. I'm surrounded by bugs. Here, listen. Can you hear the happy calls of the bugs? Yes, they say, let us go, let us go. And in other news, eccentric bug lover is bitten to death by insects. Ahem, sorry about that. Well, in the next episode, we'll go back down to Telma's bar and see what she has to say in response to Renato's letter. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. <laughs>